Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badge Workshop. So I've been using this saw quite a bit and it works great apart from one thing, there is no dust collection on it. So I'm going to try and sort that out now. So I started by doing some research and I found a video that I thought had a good solution. I'll put a link down below to the one I watched. So the solution they came up with in the video was to use some plastic waste pipe that goes under the table and around the blade and extracts from there. So I'm going to try and do exactly the same thing. But to make fitting it a little bit easier, I'm going to get the table removed and taken into the workshop. So what I've got to do this is some black 40mm waste pipe fittings. The table has some holes in it so I can use them for mounting but I've got to work around a few of the castings. I've marked on the end where the pipe needs to stick out so I can line everything up with that but I've got to miss all the other mounting points. I get some PVA wood glue applied to these bits of wood, get them pushed together and then secured in place with a few pin nails. I can now get some screws driven through the top into the wood holding it all in place. Now the black pipe blends in nicely but this pine looks very bright on the bottom of this table so I'm going to stain it with some India ink to disguise it a little. The pipe needs to stick out the side of the table and past the main body of the bandsaw. So with it in here, I can't really see how long it needs to be. So I'm just going to mark it out far longer than it's going to need to be and I can cut it down later. But first, I'm just going to cut it to this rough length with a hacksaw. I then give the cut a little clean up with some sandpaper. One of my CTX hose fittings fits perfectly in the end of the pipe. I had ordered push fit fittings but they delivered solvent weld and I don't want to weld them together so that I have the option to take it apart in the future. So I'm just going to wrap some electrical tape round and then they're pushed together with a nice friction fit. For this elbow to actually go over the blade it's going to need a slit cut in it. And I'm going to do that on my smaller bandsaw with a higher teeth per inch count. Now to get it all mounted, I've just got a couple of these pipe clips that go over the pipe and they can get screwed down into the wooden base. I can just get the pipe now removed again and get it all taken back to the workshop and get the table bolted back down onto the bandsaw. The pipe can now be threaded back through the clips and the elbow pushed onto the end around the blade. I now need to test how it works. So I've emptied out my cyclone separator, I can get the extractor attached and cut some wood. This is some 4x2 material and it's in two pieces but it's one whole 2.4 metre long length. Right, moment of truth, let's have a little look. Now, actually, you can't see that much in here because it's a bit dark. So I'm going to take you outside and hopefully you can see a little better. So I would say from cutting one 4x2 that collected about two cups of sawdust. So I'm pretty pleased with that. I think if you had a saw that already had dust collection, you could add something like this to it and it'd really improve it. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to tilt the table. I need to experiment with that. 
but with this size of saw I don't think I'll be tilting it that often I think mainly just ripping pieces square is what I'm going to be using it for so for about five pounds ish of materials I think that's a great improvement so sorry everyone I've got one more thing to say or a few more things so a little update on this I always film these videos a few weeks in advance and I watch them back and I often think oh should have done that a bit differently and down in the comments everyone tells me how I should have done it differently and sometimes I revisit a project and sometimes I don't but this one even before the video goes out I've had to revisit it so the trouble is I got fixated with a way of solving the problem straight away and that was how to attach this to the table and I, I got obsessed with using the holes that were there it seemed the obvious thing to do but then after using it and I bought a new blade which I'll show you very aggressive I had a 3 TPI and I bought some 1.3 TPI which cut incredibly quickly leave a rough finish but very quick uh, all the saw blades I get are from tough saws anyway wanted to change the blade and had to unscrew all this and then I thought just use magnets so it took the screws off glued some magnets on and now it just sticks on with magnets so much easier should have done that in the first place but there you go so sometimes it helps actually watching the videos back and seeing how you do things um, other thing I did is I cut this pipe down so it's flush with the side um, uh, yeah so I think that's it it's been working great getting lots of use this is the last video I promise about this bandsaw from now on you will see it in videos and next week I will actually be using it to make something so one more thing I got some of these clamps last year I've been sent four more I think there's four in there um, I'm doing a giveaway over on my Instagram so if you fancy some clamps go and follow me over there uh, so that's it thanks for watching thanks to my patrons and I'll see you next week <laughs>